Well, you've probably heard of a bar mitzvah and a bat mitzvah, but have you ever heard of a bike mitzvah? Not until today, I have to admit. This may, this may, uh, Blair Wales, this may, I'm thinking of the month, this May, Blair Wales will have her bat mitzvah, a ceremony and a party to recognize the transition to adulthood. As part of that tradition, she is doing a community service project. She's collecting used bikes for other kids. She's here today along with Russell Jobes. He's the manager of Dream Bikes, and it's a nonprofit bike store in Milwaukee that actually employs underprivileged youth, and you'll be repairing and checking these bicycles so that they're safe for kids to use. Yes, I will. Nice to have you both here. This nice. is fantastic. Thank you. Thanks. So I was asking you, you're, you're 12 years old. I am. You're in seventh grade. Where do you go to school? The Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Okay. Now, um, explain a little bit about, um, for, for people who don't know what a bat mitzvah or a bar mitzvah is. So it's when a girl 12 and a boy 13 becomes an adult and is like, they're, expected to follow the commandments of the Jewish Bible and they um, have to take responsibility for their own actions. It's cool. Really cool. So there, there's a ceremony and, and mm -hmm. a celebration of that. And as part of that, because um, a lot of people think, oh, you get gifts and it's a, it's a party. But actually, you do something to give back to the community, yes, right? Yes, there's a lot of work. And we do a community service project called the Mitzvah Project. And it's like a good deed project. And it's really exciting. So what excited you about doing a bike project? How did the idea start? Well, when I was at camp this past summer on a Sunday for the bike ride, it's like a camp tradition, but when I went, there weren't enough bikes for everyone, so I couldn't, wasn't able to ride along with my friends. So that was really disappointing cause for five years. It just, so I wanted to give back and really help out the camp and everything. Tell us about Camp Interlochen because is it true that this summer it'll be your sixth time? It is. True. That's really cool. What do you like about it? I love my friends from all over the world and the counselors and the activities it's amazing it's cool oh, it's nice home. to be up north huh oh yeah, yeah. it's um, cooler than here so did yeah. you come up with the idea and maybe talk to your parents about it and then they said hey we know a good organization how did dream bikes get involved well do you want to uh, <laughs> actually blair approached us and asked us if we would like to get involved with the program she was looking for bikes uh, as she explained for the for the uh, uh, staffers to use and I said, well, we can come up with something. So she came up with the idea of collecting the bikes. Uh, what we'll do at our store is we'll go through the bikes, make sure they're all ready to go uh, in great working condition, everything, so the kids can ride on their Sunday ride. I think that's super neat. What, what can people do to help in your community service project? Well, it's all about collecting bikes. So people can donate bikes to four different drop-off locations. One is Alice Bikes, Alice Bikes, mm -hmm. in West Alice, um, Dream Bikes itself, in Milwaukee, uh, Fox Point, Wheel and Sprocket, and Brookfield Wheel and Sprocket. So there are four locations. We'll recap that again at the end. That these are the four locations where people can drop off a bike. Um, the bike will be then checked over by Dream Bikes, and then it'll go to kids at Camp Interlochen. Why did you decide that you thought this was the kind of project you'd want to be involved in, or why was it a good fit for Dream Bikes? Uh, well, Dream Bikes is basically, it's a bike shop where uh, kids come in and they learn the skills to not only work on bikes, but to sell the bikes. So we are real youth oriented. Uh, my oldest staff member is just 21. So it's, it was a great opportunity for us to help the community. And also, uh, I loved seeing uh, youth coming in. Uh, like Michelle, who wants to do this program for us, it's a, it's a great match for us. Plus, we're already in the business of collecting used, donated bikes and refurbishing them. So for us, it was a, a very good match. Mm -hmm. How many bikes have you collected so far? About six or seven, but we'd really hope for 20 to 25. And any of the bikes that we, well, the camp can't use, will just go to Dream Bikes to further their mission. Yes. Oh, that's great. So yeah. even if there are, there are more bikes than the camp needs or can use, you have ways of... Definitely, definitely. We, uh, we operate as a regular bike shop. Um, we sell bikes to the public. And we go through a surprisingly large number of bikes a year, not only reselling them, but there's also other organizations that we do, and we donate bikes uh, to different organizations or individuals throughout the year. So this is uh, just a continuation of that for us. You're a passionate rider. You were telling Sandy and me that you ride every weekend. You've, you've been on a bike, even in the cold weather, every weekend for the last 13 years. Yes. 
it's it's enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, it must be to have that kind of dedication to it, especially when it's this cold out. So we're going to give people information so that they can help your project, Blair, which I think is fantastic. It's Blair's yeah. Bike Mitzvah Project. You can drop off a bike, a used bicycle, at any of these four locations through at least February 15th, and that deadline might be extended. But through February 15th, visit Dream Bikes in Milwaukee, Alice Bike and Fitness in West Dallas, or a Wheel and Sprocket location in either Fox Point or Brookfield. Nice to meet you. And you nice also have you. a Facebook page that people can visit, too. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your project. I Thank hope you, you get the 20 or 25 bikes that you're looking for. Thank it's you. fantastic. Thank you for Thank your you time. Thank you very much.